Is he shut up? What's up, YouTube? This is about Elijah Rand's coming at you a different video. <sighs> Am I the only person that's getting annoyed with this badger stuff? I'm sorry to jump right into it. It's just, it's really frustrating. Y'all saw the title for the first time this season. I'll be actually reviewing the whole episode because there's a lot to dissect. I will be watching re and reacting some parts, but the rest, we just want to do a quick talk about it because this season's starting to piss me off. We need to just fast forward to the Jamaica trip. But sorry for y'all who are new here. Please like, comment, subscribe, join the family, join the trendies. We are a lit family down here. Now, my family does get lit in the comments. <laughs> so, yeah, just keep it cute, keep it respectful down there. But please let me know if you agree with my opinion, if you don't agree, whatever. Have discussions, but just let me know down below. Please hit me up on Instagram at Elijah Renz, and that's all my social media platform. Further ado, let's get started with this review because we might be here for a little bit because I'm actually kind of annoyed. So, let's get to it. Now, before we get started with the whole entire thing, can we talk about, I'm going to pop it up right here. Can we stop with this? This is really frustrating me. Why do we need 25 minutes of this long ass intro? It's giving, if y'all have so much content, because we know you have it, because the season, we think thinking for fucking 10 more episodes left. If you have so much content of this season, why are we doing fill-ins? Like, first of all, the club scenes, along, I'm about to go into rant. The club scenes need to be cut down. Unless there's something that's intriguing with the storyline, cut it down. Five minutes and we out. Like, we don't need to be watching them the whole night at the club. But back to this. Can we please stop with the long-ass intro? We know who's, who's, we know who's EPs, who's owners, who's directors, who's camera one, number two, security guy, number five. Like, okay, put that at the end of the show. We don't, we don't need to see every episode this long-ass credit scene. Now, this fight with Smiley and Sapphire. <laughs> Let me know. How, how, do y'all rate that a 10? What do y'all rate that in the comment section down below? Because that fight to me was a solid two. Because it was a tussle. Like, Sapphire, you did all of that, mamita, and you didn't do what needed to be done. And Smiley, why you need girls telling you to fight back? Girl, as soon as she would have popped up on you, you should be fighting. That same energy you have with Mariah, you should have had with her. That's all in that situation. Because what they did, like, five minutes later kind of pissed me the fuck off. Like, <sighs> And then, you know, DJ Sky, you know, is looking kind of mellow. She wouldn't, wouldn't the vibes. And first of all, how we feel about T? I like T. She's one of the baddest bitches on this cast. But, you know, Scott um, and Mac and DJ Sky had a little tiff, whatever. And then I love how in Sky's confessional, she put, oh, and there was a fight. No, girl, there was not a fight. You can't fight. Anna Mac worked you. And the famous words of Camilla, how was Anna Mac this small but working at big girls? And I'm not, size don't matter. But for DJ Sky and Scotty, if you need to be popping all that shit, your size should have mattered then. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But they had a cute little debrief, and Anna Max stood on 10. Like, this, this, this is, we're going to discuss this more at the end of the review, but I'm getting tired of Natalie and the other girls coming after Anna and Smiley, and especially ooh, that biggie scene, we're going to get into that. But I'm tired of them coming after them for standing on business. Y'all want girls to fight, cut each other out, and then hug afterwards. Again... I put this on my Twitter. I'm going to put it here. I don't know how y'all be. I can't fight somebody. And then five seconds later, we hugging, butt buddying. We can't be friends after that. I'm an adult, so we could be cordial. But we're not going to be fighting. And then, oh, yo, we brothers. Yeah, 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 you know, we cool. After I just knocked you in your face, you just knocked me in my face. Like, we're not having that. We're not having that. We're going to watch this part together because... Crazy, and I was thinking, like, bitch, you're crazy, too. Like, we both crazy, so now what? Like, I don't understand. For, for Smiley and Sapphire to hug you just four or five seconds ago, even if you did want to squash it, I need more than five minutes. Like, Sapphire, you doing all that row, I want to fight you, bitch, get out of here, da da da. ET was talking about, bitch, go, and now you're all hugging. Oh, we all friends and butt buddies. I'm sorry. I understand, keep the peace, but no. That bitch should have been squashed. This after the after the first time y'all fought, cause that was just dumb. But we are gonna proceed. I guess we gonna hug it out. Everybody hugging, so we're in New York. We yeah. have a lot of shit the fuck to do. I don't know if we're all staying here, but hopefully we can all <laughs> maybe have a slumber party tonight. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going out tonight. Let's go. 
I, I just, I just don't understand. Like, I just, I, I, it's just, yo, these girls, I can't tussle with somebody and then we all friends afterwards. But it's going to lead me to my next point because we're going to watch Taseki and I feel like my, my subscribers, we about to have a divide because a lot of people was having different sides on Twitter, but let's get into this because I, because I have lots to say about this. Yeah, let's get into it. I wanted to okay. talk to Sasiki like, no, you made me like, mad no when you was mocking me on social media because I was really being sweet to your sister. And you know, I have a genuine side. Yo, begging the ass over there. I want to hug you. But she came in the house popping mad shit. Oh, you. you see how a delivery is. I'm going to be quiet. The mocking, it was intentionally like what a sister would do. You feel mm -hmm. me? Exactly. It's bigger than a sister. I don't know if you heard what's been going on, but. I didn't got jumped by my sister. I didn't defend her for a bunch of shit that I shouldn't have. Feel well, like you've been in a house with me. You've been around me. Have I tried to jump you? No. So can, can I, so can I get an apology? Can you, can you get an apology for me? Mm -hmm. For what? <laughs> me. I just told you. What, hold on. Hold on. Uh uh see no 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 E.T. came in the house talking to Trashiki and the confession was talking. And then was talking to her, to Natalie and Scotty. Like, you was talking shit. But then you was quick to pop on to Seki and Biggie for no... I mean, you was quick to pop on with T and Biggie for no reason. Quickly popped up on them, especially this episode. You was acting like Roly's lap dog for real. But now you want to come calmly at Taseki. And then when Taseki said, hold my bag, now all y'all want to come in because you know what Taseki can do. And I feel like, I feel like Roly and them told... E.T., that she's not the one. Because why is her delivery like this? Because let's keep it real. If you want to keep it a stack. If Biggie or T, matter of fact, T actually did it. T dropped her bag and you ran up on her. But you don't have the same energy for Taseki? Okay. Okay. Reason E.T. just wanted an apology because her feelings were hurt. I don't feel like fighting wasn't necessary. Like, I fucking told a young lady on my show on having an STD. And I Sky, I love you, but not, this is not the time for the holiness. I'm telling you how she felt. Her feelings was hurt. I'm fucking in love. I think she's upset. I'm fucking but y'all talking about she's upset because her feelings she was being mocked. But y'all didn't have none of this energy later when Biggie was expressing how she failed, or when Big when Roly was mocking Biggie. I don't like. I don't like. Don't pick and choose. Don't pick and choose because you know what the second can do. Uh, at that point, I just felt like y'all saved that girl from an ass whooping. She was being a big baby, but hearing it from someone else, it just was like, okay. Bring it on it. Bring it because it. it's not even that deep. I don't even give two flying fucks about. The, the second that don't that care either way. Okay, we're gonna end it on that one because y'all, I'm sorry. I already said how I felt about that. I already said how, we, already said how I felt. I'm not gonna say that much to more of it. I feel like that was a fake ass. The second was a girl, hug it out or not, I really don't care. That's how I that's how I got from that whole ordeal with that. I'm not really gonna get into Smiley versus um her sister. Um I feel that whole situation is dumb. I feel like Mariah Lynn, I don't know. I, I always respect Mariah because she's always going to act tough and she's, she's not scared. But, girl, you act like you're, like, the biggest dog in the house. It's just my opinion. And I feel like for her sister to come to the club, you know, you know Natalie set that up. Do y'all care about the situation anymore? I'm tired of talking about the pendant and necklace. I'm tired of talking about it. It's real, it's fake, the hoot that she did for clout. Like, I, I, honestly, I'm tired about the whole situation. So that's how I feel about that, personally. Y'all can talk how y'all want to talk in the comment sections. I'm just tired of it. What I do want to get into is the biggest situation. Now, I'm not going to talk about Anna Mac and Scotty because that was just a snooze fest. Scotty, Anna Mac don't like you. Anna Mac is not scared of you. Like, Scotty, be clear, you did not beat up Anna Mac. That was a fair tight. If anything, Anna Mac got a little bit of you of the advantage. But what are we doing here? What are we doing? Now, Biggie. Biggie, I saw the trailer for next week. You better handle business, girl. Because when I, yo, I was watching this, like, E.T., mind your bit. We're going to watch it together. This is going to be the last part of the review. But we're going to watch this part together because that really had me, sent me over the moon. It's like, you really be picking and choosing. You jumped up on Biggie, but you didn't jump up on Tiseki? Let's watch this. Come on, let's go. We Biggie, you wanna yell? I'm gonna yell with you, like I'm your mama, and tell you to sit down and shut the fuck up. She's yelling at me for no reason, and you know that's wrong. You know it's wrong. It doesn't matter if it's wrong. Who is she? You see. Now, you notice how Rolly's pulling her dog back off the leash, right? 
You see, you know what we just talked about earlier about having the same energy? You don't have the same energy with Jaseki. But now with Biggie, because you have a headache, you want to be... Girl, Sky was just yelling. Scotty was just yelling. And Mac was yelling all day. Now you want to yell at her. Like, girl, shut up. You gonna get her. Shut up. And Biggie should have knocked her out. Why are you on Biggie though? No, I didn't like that. No, 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 no. I didn't like that. Don't be on sitting on top of Biggie. Don't do that. Don't let her go. Mariah Lynn, shut up. Mariah Lynn, shut up. Exactly. Look at Molly like. E.T., shut up. If I would be like, you got a headache, get out and move. You see this big-ass house we in? Go to, go to your room, you have a headache. You're just walking in. Not listening. <laughs> like, not listening. Girl. Where the fuck are we going? Scarface, we're going to the Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Put your dog on a leash. Same shit and get her nowhere. So I just want to get settled into my room. And Biggie can go to wherever house she's staying at and leave me the But you see how Biggie, you know, each. Biggie, Biggie. It's not about that. What do you mean? It's because there's so much tension going on between. I low key feel bad for Biggie. Was she yelling the whole time? Yes. But it's like, like, I really feel bad. I feel like they really be doing Biggie dirty. And Biggie is pretty. Whatever, whatever, with whatever y'all want to say. I don't care. Biggie's a pretty girl. But it's like, Natalie, you do fuck shit. And Biggie's not Biggie's calling you out. If you if you didn't want her to come back, then you should have not brought her back. Like, they're trying to give her the Sydney Star edit, and I don't like it. Y'all brought her back. She didn't like she didn't just pop up and be like, oh yo, I'm here. You brought her back and she had beef with Roly. Now you're like, oh, I don't want y'all fighting. Stop y'all be so full of crap, bro. And then it's up every fucking time. Last season we had a jet fight. We're not having jet fights. I plan to take the ladies for a night out of fun. Natalie, you have Roly on the jet, but you fought Roly and kicked Roly off the show. Like y'all so fake. This is last season beef. Like, we have to learn as baddies at some point to let the shit go. But Natalie, you had beef with Camilla for years, Red for years. Like, how many girls for years that came on this show and you squared up with? Y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all want fights, but then mad when people stand on their shit. Go to another house. We gotta figure it out. Everything is not a text. It's really not. I really feel bad for Biggie. Uh uh, I don't, this we this is what we're gonna stop this review right here. I don't like that they're all just picking at her. Like it just it feels like a gang up, and I just don't like how this season is going. I don't like how people is defending people online now in present time, but wasn't defending them right then and there. Like I just don't like that. Mm -mm, I don't like that. I, I honestly do feel bad, but that's my review for this episode. Um, next week, we're not going to do an episode review. We're, we're going to actually react to the fights. It's just this episode had too much going on. So I couldn't pinpoint a fight to focus on. Because it like all tracked to the next one. But yeah, thank y'all for the love and support. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one.